The final hours of Jose Rizal. December 29th. Six o'clock in the morning. Rizal learned that he had been sentenced to death. He refused to sign the documents and he declared his innocence. He also said that he is an Indio and not a Chinese mestizo as stated in the report. Later, Rizal's guests began arriving. That morning, six priests arrived one after the other, including the famous Jesuit scientist Father Federico Fora. Rizal also had breakfast with his lawyer. Around noon, Rizal was left alone. He ate lunch and wrote letters. It is said that it was during this time that he finished the famous poem Mi Ultimo Adios which he later hid in a lamp. It is also said that Rizal signed a document renouncing his Masonic status and he returned to the Catholic faith. But experts on Rizal's life are divided if Rizal's retraction is true and if he really returned to Catholicism. Later, his mother and five of his sisters arrived. Narcissa, one of Rizal's sisters later received the alcohol lamp with the poem. After his family left, more priests arrived. At his last supper, he told the judge advocate that he had forgiven those who had condemned him. December 30th, 5 o'clock in the morning. Josephine Bracken and Josefa Rizal came crying. An agent of the Spaniards testified that Josephine and Rizal were married and embraced for the last time. Josefa and Josephine were Rizal's last guests. At half past six, they began walking from Fort Santiago to Bagambayan. Rizal was accompanied by two priests and his lawyer. They were also surrounded by many soldiers. Rizal was dressed in black, with his hands tied behind his back, and tightly holding a rosary. Around seven o'clock, a doctor checked his pulse and found it normal. Eight Filipino soldiers were assigned to shoot Rizal. Behind them, there were Spanish soldiers who were ready to shoot the Filipinos if they did not obey. Rizal asked that he be shot in the heart and not in the head. The captain agreed. While the captain shouted, Preparin. A puntin, Rizal also shouted, Consumatum est, which means, it is finished. When the captain shouted, Fuego. Shots rang out from the rifles. Rizal had his back turned but when he was hit, he tried to turn his body. He collapsed, and died facing the sky. A dog became a silent witness to Rizal's murder and it lingered and smelled Rizal's dead body. Another soldier moved closer and shot Rizal to make sure he was dead. Then, the soldiers shouted, death to the traitors. Rizal was buried in Paco without a coffin.